So, following the recent leaks of the Pixel 9, 9 Pro, and 9 Pro XL, preliminary benchmarks have surfaced, alongside details about the Tensor G4 chipset. According to benchmark results from Rosic, the Tensor G4 features a 1 plus 3 plus 4 core configuration. This setup includes a Prime Cortex X4 core, 3 mid-range Cortex A720 cores, and 4 efficiency-focused Cortex A520 cores. Previous Tensor chips had different configurations. The original Tensor and the G2 featured a 2 plus 2 plus 4 core setup, while the G3 adopted a 1 plus 4 plus 4 configuration. The inclusion of the Cortex X4, also used in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, promises a 15% performance boost and a 40% increase in power efficiency compared to its predecessor. The Cortex A720 cores offer a 20% improvement in power efficiency, and the Cortex A520 cores bring a 22% gain. However, it's important to note that these benchmark devices are running on early software versions, with significant optimization and tuning still to come. When examining the Anti-2 benchmarks for the Tensor G4 and the Pixel 9 series, it's essential to consider these early stages of software development. Although there are observable performance gains, comparisons with the Pixel 8 are necessary for context. The forthcoming Tensor G5 in the Pixel 10 is anticipated to transition to TSMC's manufacturing process, which might overshadow the Samsung-made Tensor G4 in the Pixel 9 series for potential buyers. Leaks have indicated that, the Tensor G4 will utilize Samsung's latest 4 nanometer process, an advanced packaging method known as fan-out wafer-level packaging. This technique is expected to enhance heat management and power efficiency further. These benchmarks and specifications reveal a significant shift in Google's approach to its custom chipset. The change from a 2 plus 2 plus 4 core configuration in the original Tensor and G2 to the 1 plus 3 plus 4 setup in the Tensor G4 indicates an effort to balance performance and efficiency better. The Cortex X4 core is a notable inclusion, aligning the Tensor G4 with current flagship standards and suggesting a commitment to maintaining competitive performance metrics. Moreover, the focus on power efficiency improvements with the Cortex A720 and Cortex A520 cores highlights Google's strategy to extend battery life and manage heat more effectively. These enhancements are crucial for delivering a smoother user experience, particularly in demanding applications and extended usage scenarios. However, the real-world impact of these changes will depend heavily on the final software optimizations. As the devices progress towards their official release, continued development and refinement will be critical to fully realizing the potential of the Tensor G4. The anticipated shift to TSMC for the Tensor G5 and the Pixel 10 underscores a long-term strategy for Google's chipset development, potentially offering even greater advancements in performance and efficiency. For now, the Tensor G4 represents a significant step forward, with promising improvements that could make the Pixel 9 series a compelling choice for users seeking high performance and enhanced power efficiency. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Pixel 9 series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.